gamers, Matt Lemke here with Your Gamer Goggles, and uh, I'm with Kevin Shambiera. Yeah, I said it wrong again. Darn Polish Shambira, roots. Shambiera. Shambiera. Anything works. <laughs> I'm Polish. I should be able to do it. Um, and we're at Gen Con 2015 at the Palladium Open House booth. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's too early. It is too early. And we're going to chat about all things Palladium. Um, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with the book that's releasing, which you guys can see now. And it's the newest Robotech source book um, and, oh, that you've been waiting for. It's the Marines. I should have I should have mentioned that. We actually talked about this last year at Chen Kai a little bit. Probably, yeah. Um, and, you know, as... I can't remember the game designer's name. It's better off to delay it than to release it incomplete. I, I agree. <laughs> uh, well, it, it's true. I mean, because if you release a bad game, it's, it's a bad, bad yeah. and it'll always be bad. Yep. Um, so what's cool about this book? Everything's cool about this book. There's all kinds of new ro uh, Robotech designs. Um, hover cycles. There's, ho there's hover cycles. There's space hover cycles. There are new Dust Droids. There are new... Uh, there's a Trotty Mecca, um, there's some new vehicles, there's alien races, there's a timeline that ties into Shadow yeah, Rock from the earlier series. A lot of cool stuff in there, a lot of good background material. Stuff that I didn't know about Robotech, like the Spherians, the new race. Um, and this is. How much retail? Twenty ninety five. There it is. I, I know how to read those SKUs, really. Um, oh, we've got ads in the back. What is this? Um, that's an ad for a uh, up and coming chemical company. They had a Kickstarter. Oh, very nice. And uh, yeah, they're, they're a sister company of the guys who do uh, a number of famous video games. So are you, does that mean there's going to be a Rift slash Robotech comic book? Possibly? Uh, possibly. Um, More writing. Well, not necessarily, because someone else could write and draw it. So. Well, yeah, the draw. Oh my gosh, I could see Charles doing that. Yeah, actually, we've toyed around with ideas of doing various types of comic books, uh, including riffs. And uh, we'll see. So my, my background is kind of well, it, talk about it. Yeah, yeah, it's currently working for Paizo. I mean, yeah. Um, I don't know if you're aware, and not not to steal the show here, but no, um, they just finished the one six 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 mini series on, on their iconic characters, and um, I, um, who's the company that's doing it? Um, that's not important. They signed with them another six, and it's all getting written in house. That's how happy they were with the writers. Yeah, so that's so it's about as true to the original material as possible. Yeah, yeah. So you know, I mean. It, it's a great way to build your fan base. Sure. Think, you know, sure. you just got to be able to meet those deadlines because that's that's not something when you're working with another company. We know how good Palladium is at hitting deadlines. <laughs> hey, hey, you said it. About it. You know, facts um, are facts. You know, we have trouble hitting our deadlines. But. Yeah, that happens. I think with a lot of people, you're not the only one. Well, the thing is, I think we have sort of a more. Uh, for lack of a better word, I think more of a fine arts kind of approach to our stuff. Sort of a Hollywood approach to things where we want our product to be as good as it can be. And we're not going to hit some arbitrary deadlines and say, well, that's good enough. Or it's got to be this because we're out of time. We'll delay it to make it the best possible game. We'll delay it if we have in the middle of the damn thing a whole new idea comes up and it's a better way to go. We'll stop and walk around and do it because it's a superior product. There you want to create the best products around. And that's the way to be, I think. Um, so let's talk a little bit about Robotech. I saw the exclusives and uh, I think they're pretty good looking. Yeah, I they're actually, for the most part, they're stunning. Um, Thank you. I, I think they're beautiful. Yeah, yeah it, they are. And, you know, I'll get those pictures up on Facebook for you guys to look at. Maybe not tonight. I'm filming like tonight. But tomorrow night, probably, when I get home. Um, and let's talk about some things that you have in the works. Uh, everybody's ranting and raving about Wave 2 and there's, as we discussed, there's not a lot there to talk about. Um, yeah, it, 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 we're looking into ways to like do some piece like how we are Everything is in engineering, <laughs> but we we've momentarily have stopped so that we can talk more with our manufacturer about reducing piece count. And I mean substantially, because that's been one of the big, big 
Oh, uh, yeah. There's just way too many pieces. And part of that is just you know, the material and the way it's being manufactured right now. And so we're looking for ways to... Jupiter is now 9.50, the hall will be open, and you must be show ready in less than 10 minutes. As a reminder from last, please enter the hall. Ten Ten-minute warning. It's kind of like two-minute warning in football. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, so, so, so we're, we're, we're talking to them about ways that we can um, reduce the, pay, the, the piece count dramatically without affecting the pay. Well, being a guy who's put together thousands <laughs> of models, I don't mind the piece count as much as I mind some of the small pieces. That's what gets me like, the one time I spent an hour looking for the ones, and it's uh, the uh, battle mode, that little yeah. piece. I'm like, why isn't that on there? I'm like, you know, so live and learn. Well, and that's it's part your of what first we're, minis game. Well, so. And that's part of what we're doing. I mean, Ninja Division handled you know, most of that, and they felt like the parts wouldn't be an issue. Uh, and like you said, for I think especially experienced war gamers and people who are used to building miniatures, it's not so much an issue. Right. But for people who are newer to it, less experienced, it's a bitch. You even is. gave us instructions. There are many companies that don't give you instructions. Well, I know. In fact, that that with Ninja Division thought, well, you know, don't worry about instructions. I'll figure it out. You know, most companies don't do instructions. We're like. Uh, there's a lot of pieces I think we need to do. Yeah, well, no, there, I put together models from other companies, 150, 120 pieces, no instructions. You got the description in the book, and the we try. You know, so I think the instructions were a huge help. Um, and I'm an experienced modern model builder. So, um, what else can we get? There's not really, I mean, um, we're, we're shooting, and I use the term shooting to get Wave 2 done and out by the end of the year. Uh, oh, wow. It's not the end of the year or early next year, right? Now. But uh, we're shooting for the end of this year. We're going to see what happens. Yeah, there's a lot of things that can come into play there, shipping, yeah. and yeah, there's a lot of loose ends. I've learned about those the hard ways. Yeah, so, so, so have we. <laughs> First one's always an experience. Well, I just had a friend do a Kickstarter. And he's like, oh my gosh. Yeah, there's so much you just There's a custom I mean, yes. he, his Kickstarter wasn't big. He had a card game. I think he only needed $5,000 to fund it. He had an import tax of $2,500. I'm like, oh my gosh. It's like half your Kickstarter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that wasn't, he didn't know about it. Well, just, so. to, just to ship this product in from China. Uh, something in the neighborhood of $70,000, $76,000. Yeah, it's not even counting shipping it out to all our individual uh, backers right. and customs and all that. And we have to learn and figure all that stuff out. Okay. So, yeah, it's been an experience. I, I bet. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad my Kickstarter only involves no shipping. <laughs> very little, very little. Um, so, at, oh, at the open house, we talked about this about. Yep. For riffs, if you guys don't remember what this about is. Um, how much closer are you on projects like that? Um, I hope to have the disavowed and Heroes of Humanity out early fall. And I'm working right now on uh, Riffs Chaos Earth Resurrection. It's going to be a great book. I think it's going to surprise a lot of people. Um, that's going to be really fun. Um, I also want to get beyond the supernatural. As an exhibitor, the hall will be open in less than five minutes. Please be ready. I'm sorry, I was saying I want to get a couple of beyond the supernatural source books out by the end of the year. People wait for those. Again, preparation for uh, Yeah, we got all kinds of ideas. I mean, for riffs, we got a gazillion different Yeah, riffs, riffs is their bread and butter. And, and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Um, and then, well, what about Palladium Fantasy? Play in fantasy, I've got a million ideas. Well, I know you do, and you've got one that's kind of in the forefront, the next edition. Uh, <laughs> well, that's what you want to see. Well, no, I mean, no, we I, talked I, about I, it last year. We have year, talked about it, talked about it Open House. I, I really do want to do a uh, Play in Fantasy Ultimate Well, edition. so it's kind of on the back burner. Um, well, i got to get a bunch of other projects out that we've been talking about and people have been waiting for. So, yeah, I can put a little bit on the back burner. What else you want to add? Um, having a great Gen Con. People I mean, are loving the exclusives. They're loving uh, you know, that. They're loving Byzantium that came out earlier this year. Playing Fantasy. Yeah, Byzantium looked good. Yeah, it's a fun book. Uh, 
And for those of you that asked me to talk to Kevin about a proof play, it's in the works. They're not they're not really ready. They're not at a point to well, I guess they don't even really have a good foundation yet. Well, we're working at it. We're trying to set things up. We're talking to yeah, a number of people. Yeah, you're building so, the basement. Exactly. You're and, building the basement. And, and so, uh, yeah, that's something we want to watch very soon. Um, getting back to Robotech Arbiter Tactics, um, we want to release a lot of items that people can pick up uh, for free, for cheap, online as PDFs and uh, free material, including a basic set of rules um, and uh, you know, figures you can make paper miniatures out of so you can play test and you know, fool around with yourself before they actually buy the game. All that stuff is in the works. I think that covers about what we have time for. Because right. you're going to get flooded in yeah. about yeah. two minutes. <laughs> so, thank you guys and thank you Kevin. It's always thank a you. pleasure. I enjoy Likewise. chatting with you. And, uh, Thanks, man. We'll get you, uh, you, get, get you guys' information as fast as possible.